want you to come over here. Stop being a wuss. Let the camera see you. Come here. Come, come down, come down here. Come down here. This is my vato right here. What's happening, guys? Without this guy, nothing is possible. Nothing. With, nothing. This guy, he's like God. He walks on water every morning <laughs> and, and spends 10 minutes meditating <laughs> every morning. <laughs> that's being fed by the truck is remote control. So the guy can start and stop the mud as the pace of the job is happening, okay? It's not just an endless flow of concrete. It's being electronically operated. Those pumps, uh, like the one that I showed you out there, can run up to $200,000, very expensive stuff. <laughs> Essentially, concrete gets pumped in, rebar is getting pulled up into the middle of the concrete, right where we want it, right where it's gonna be strongest. As the mud is getting pumped in, we saw a guy following with a two by four. That's called screeding the concrete. first attempt at getting this to be a level surface. Next, we pass a wood float on a pole. and then we pass a chrome trowel over the float. What you see behind me are the guys putting the finishing touches. They're cleaning any slosh that ended up on the coping, uh, and they're going around with hand trowels doing detail work. Okay, this is putting the edge on the concrete. The tool he's using is 
obviously called an edging tool. Anytime these guys see a portion of the concrete that's not level, they will add some material to level it out and make it perfect. And, that, and that's what you're seeing here. It wasn't graded correctly. So we add, add a little more mud. is going to be expansion joints. These guys are running a snap line across the pool to make sure that the expansion joints are lined up. You have another guy over here holding the other side and they're snapping it in the concrete so the guy knows where to make the expansion joints. Okay, the expansion joints are gonna be in the same spot on both sides of the pool. So it goes all the way across the pool. There you go. What the guys are doing right now is they're setting the expansion joints and where those expansion joints are going to be in the concrete. The reason that we want expansion joints is because concrete expands and contracts at different rates. We do this to reduce cracking and increase strength in the finished product. Okay, and you can see he's already, he's making his marks. He's going around, he's already got his spacing. I hear you talking shit. Oh, you hear me? Yeah. That's better, you hear me? Hablamos espanol también. Oh, ya viste que hablamos español también? Hey, bonito. Esto le gusta la grande rara del culo. No, I don't think so. No, no, grande panocha. Okay, so right here you can see the finishing work. Okay, these guys are going through and they're putting the finish on the concrete. They're also doing the edging. Okay, they're going around and putting the edge on the concrete as well. These are very, very skilled tradesmen. You saw these guys working in a three and four man team. Okay, what you see here, the guys putting the finish on the concrete. Uh, we're using chrome plated finishing trowels, uh, wood floats, and brass edging tools. We're doing this to sharpen up the expansion joints. You can see, you can see that we have some nice sharp expansion joints going all the way around the pool. Okay, here we're putting the final finish on the deck. This is called a brush finish. Just like the name would suggest, we're passing a brush over the deck. This allows, I don't know if the camera is going to pick this up, but this allows for some texture and for some very strong concrete. Here's the ultimate pool guy. Why are you filming me? I'm filming you. Oh, okay. What's up, Vato? Let me, let me film the job. That's how we do concrete on the ultimate pool guy. New skimmer, light up upgrade. New section line, new return lines. It's ready for plaster. The only thing is missing is the deck is right there next to the coping and the concrete. He needs, a, he needs a belt. Why are you like my ass? <laughs> you like my ass? Yes, I have it. I have it, but get, get, get off my ass. We have it right here, okay?